It's time for Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Spring Hill Sports Live is brought to you by Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning, Price Chopper, Kim Thompson at Prudential Financial, the Spring Hill Recreation Commission, Shoemaker Collision and Paint Center, Cedar Lake Village, Crown Realty, the Elliott Insurance Group. Prime Accounting Solutions, Farmers Insurance, Leah Smith Agency, Tri Century Bank, Allstate, Libby Clark Agency, The Spring Hill Chamber of Commerce, Spring Hill Fitness, Perfect Detail Salon, and White Soul Optometry. Bye. This is Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. And welcome inside Spring Hill High School here on this Saturday afternoon for some sub-state volleyball action for your number one overall seed in the Class 5A state tournament, the Spring Hill Broncos. And today they will take on the 16th seed, Kansas City Washington Wildcats in this sub-state semifinal. Coming up later on today will be the other semifinal featuring the number eight seed Pittsburgh and the number nine seed Bonner Springs. That match will follow this one and the two winners will square off in the 5A sub-state championship with the winner punching their ticket to the state tournament. Somewhere that the Spring Hill Broncos have not been since 1985 and that is what those girls you see right there are looking to accomplish here today. They are 35-2 and two on the season. They won the Frontier League for the first time since 1983. And now Erica Book and her team looking to punch their ticket to state for the first time since 1985. Semi-final coming up. The number one seed, Spring Hill, and the number 16 seed, KC Washington. You're watching Spring Hill High School Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Are you looking for a trusted heating or air conditioning contractor in the Spring Hill area? Look no further than Comfort Designs. Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning has 100% NAIC certified technicians who are friendly, knowledgeable, and ready to help. They'll care for your home and complete the job with speed and precision. Locally owned and operated for more than 20 years, Comfort Designs, Spring Hills Heating and Air Conditioning Company. See all they have to offer at comfortdesigns.net or schedule your appointment at 913-592-4453. Your local farmer's insurance agent is Leah Smith. With more than 10 years of industry experience in both Kansas and Missouri, Leah is sure to customize the right plan for you. Her straightforward and personalized approach will help you better understand your coverage options. Stop on by at 159th and Merlin, right up the street in South Olathe, or call 913-221-0755. Leah Smith Agency, Farmer's Insurance, proudly serving Spring Hill and cheering on the Broncos. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. This is Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Welcome back to the Comfort Designs pregame show brought to you by Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning. As we get set for this first sub-state semifinal between the Spring Hill Broncos and the KC Washington Wildcats, you're locally owned and operated for more than 20 years is Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning. They're Spring Hills Heating and Air Conditioning Company. Learn more at comfortdesigns.net or call 913-592-4453. Well, this matchup here features the number one overall seed, Spring Hill, 35-2 and two on the season. They've won 80 of the 93 sets they've played this season, and their opponent is the now 6-19 and 19 KC Washington Wildcats after they won 
the uh, first match of the day over Casey Schlegel in three sets. So you've got either a tired team or you've got a warmed up team that you're coming up against now as uh, Spring Hill. The one thing about Casey Washington, though, they are a small team. Only one girl over five foot eight, as opposed to Spring Hill, who boasts three six footers across the front line and a couple others at uh, five nine and five eleven. Jalen Stevenson. Uh, 5'11 attacker, their top attacker, and they've got three six-footers around her. So definitely an advantage size-wise, an advantage up around the net for Spring Hill in this one. And, and quite frankly, this is one that they should take care of rather quickly and get set for the sub-state championship later on. So I think that could be one of the big keys for them in this match is take care of business early, get this one over with, don't stay out there on the floor longer than you have to, and uh, allow yourself to... Get rested up for what's going to be a hopefully another match coming up later on today and what very well should be is, again, we've got the number one seed here in Spring Hill taking on number 16 seed, KC Washington. So that's what we're looking forward to here in this matchup here inside the Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning pregame show. We'll take a quick timeout, come back, and uh, dive a little bit more into this matchup here along with uh, a look at the lineups for you as we get set for Spring Hill and KC Washington in the semifinals of the Class 5A Substate. Whitesell Optometry Vision Source has been the leader in optometry services and vision care in Spring Hill for more than 20 years. Whitesell Optometry offers comprehensive eye care as well as the latest, most popular lenses and frames for Spring Hill and the surrounding communities. Experience modern eye care with advanced diagnostic technology and vision correction products. And with the experience of doctors Whitesell and Bloodgood, you're sure to see the results you're looking for. To schedule your appointment, call Whitesell Optometry Vision Source at 913-592-2020. Prime Accounting Solutions in Spring Hill is here to help you and your business grow. From accounting services to tax planning, Prime Accounting is here to help you meet your goals and achieve your dreams. The accountants at Prime Accounting Solutions stay up to date on the latest news and information, ensuring the best options, services, and returns for you. Give Prime Accounting Solutions a call at 913-592-2050. Visit them at 408 North Webster in Spring Hill or go online to primeaccounting.net. Is Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. A look live there at the Spring Hill High School volleyball team is set for this substate semifinal against KC Washington. It's the Comfort Designs pregame show here as we get you set for this match. Just a few minutes away from getting it underway. Let's take a look into this lineup for the Spring Hill Broncos, the Frontier League champions, their first league title since 1983. And now trying to punch their ticket to the state tournament for the first time since 1985. And they are led by junior outside hitter Jalen Stevenson, a reigning first-team All-Frontier League hitter who leads the team in kills, leads the team in hitting percentage as well. She's third on the team in blocks. She's second on the team in service aces, second on the team in digs as a full a six rotation player. And that's their star, if you will. But they've got plenty of other contributors that fit into the star category on a any given nightly basis as this is a team that is filled with talent and that is what Daphne Gardner, the freshman setter, her role all year has been distributing the ball to those, those talented hitters and she's doing it at a 9.8 assist per set clip this year and third of the team from the service line with 32 aces this year as well. Some of the other weapons that you'll see Gardner setting in this one, Allie Frank, second team all frontier league last year, six foot junior middle, second on the team with kills. She's two kills shy of 200 for the season. She's the team's blocking leader with 85 blocks on the year, averaging right at one per set. And she's got 18 solo blocks on the season. And also you're going to see plenty of Kate Frakes in the middle, a 6'2 sophomore. She is second on the team in hitting percentage at 347. She's got 184 kills on the year. And she is second to Frank in blocks with 57 on the season, uh, averaging 1.6 blocks per set. And Riley Serpan and Addie Hedrick, they're a couple of underclassmen, both left-handers who will play primarily on that right side where they'll attack from. And they're each averaging, in, ca in the case of Hedrick, just over two kills per set. And in the case of Serpan, just under two kills per set. But they've got plenty of attacking weapons up there that Gardner will be distributing the volleyball to. And then, of course, you can't forget the senior libero, Caitlin Rexrope, the team's digs leader and the lone senior on this 35-2 and team. And she, again, will be uh, the libero for this one for 
Spring Hill, and she's a talented one there in the back row as this team has had a special run to this point, 35-2. and two. Now we'll see if they can keep the run going and punch their ticket to state. Semifinals of the 5A Substate coming up, Spring Hill and KC Washington. You've been watching the Comfort Designs pregame show. First serve is next. A great collision on the field? Awesome. An awesome collision on the road? Not so great. If that bad play does come your way, take your car to Shoemaker Collision and Paint Center. As Kansas City's premier auto collision repair center, they work on all makes and models, even RV, marine, aviation, motorcycles, and more. Shoemaker Collision offers free estimates and loaners, plus they will work with all insurance companies. Get your ride back in the game. Learn more at ShoemakerCollision.com or call 913-592-0095. When it comes to helping people with their finances, a cookie cutter approach doesn't work. That's why you need Kim Thompson at Prudential Financial in Spring Hill. Kim knows that everyone's different. She'll listen to you and discuss your hopes and dreams, allowing you to focus on what's important. At Kim Thompson Financial, they focus on protecting your family, saving for retirement, living in retirement, financial strategy, saving for education, and your small business. To learn more, visit Kim Thompson Prudential Financial at the corner of Victory and Webster in Spring Hill or call 913-592 5573. This is Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Live from Spring Hill High School here this afternoon. It's the 5A sub state for the number one overall seed, the Spring Hill Broncos. They are hosting Casey Schlegel, Casey Washington, Bonner Springs, and Pittsburgh for this sub state. Schlegel already eliminated. They lost in three sets to KC Washington in the first match of the day. So the Wildcats of Washington High School have moved on now for this sub-state semifinal to take on the 35-2 Spring Hill Broncos. And then following this match, it'll be the 8-seed, uh, the eight seed, 25 11 Pittsburgh against the 9-seed, 22-14 Bonner Springs. And the winner of that will face the winner of this match for a state tournament berth in the 5A state playoffs. They're going to go through and announce the lineups to the fans in attendance here in a moment as well. So we will wait for that and then we'll get this sub-state semi-final match underway. Washington, a 5'10 senior. 
year number 28, one of Teresa's lovers. For Spring Hill, 511 junior number 10, Jalen Stevenson. And the Guerrero's great team for Washington, double zero, one of 55 junior, Jimmy. And for Spring Hill, one of 59 senior, number 41, Kayla. All right, there you go, the starting lineups, the entire lineups, all the reserves, everybody announced here in this sub-state, and it'll be the number one overall seed, the Spring Hill Broncos, the number 16 seed, the KC Washington Wildcats in this matchup to start things out. And I think we have a little bit of a, an issue with uh, jersey numbers here because, and although they were at the scorer's table there, you saw Erica Book, the head coach of the Broncos, they announced Caitlin Rex wrote as number 41. She's wearing number nine. I don't know how that works. If it's like basketball, if you've got the wrong number in the book, if you're penalized somehow for that, I, I don't know what the, uh, the rules are there, if they have the wrong number listed or whether they were just off the PA going off the, the program roster, which of course has zero relevance to the official status of things, but even in the program, she's listed as number nine, so uh, Rex wrote, I'm not sure. Either way, I, she isn't changing uniform, so we'll just assume everything is is well, and we'll move on. Because <laughs> Coach Book was at the scores table, then she went over and talked to Caitlin, and Caitlin gave that look of oops, <laughs> but uh, I guess it's all good. So here we go, Spring Hill and KC Washington. Winner moves on to the 5A Substate Championship game where they will face either Pittsburgh or Bonner Springs. Those two teams are awaiting their turn on the floor, which will follow this one. Best of three, all sets played to 25. And if you're Spring Hill, you're expecting this one to be over quickly and certainly not lasting three. Heavy favorite in this first match of the day for the Spring Hill Broncos. Lenita Gomez will serve for Washington to get things underway. It took three sets for Washington to get rid of Schlegel in their first match of the day. That was just prior to this one, so they are playing a back-to-back, -back, and we are underway as Gardner hits it up for Stevenson, and the first swing is the first kill as Jalen Stevenson delivers on the kill for Spring Hill. She averages four and a half per set this season, 390 kills on the year, now give her 391, and they did give, well, they put a point on the board for Washington, so maybe that was the penalty for having the wrong number on, is Washington got a point. So 1-1 as Daphne Gardner serves for Spring Hill. Free ball across for the Broncos. Hess comes sliding in to play it, and now it's Stevenson again. A little off-speed shot across the court and in is Jalen Stevenson. Quickly with a pair of kills for Spring Hill, and the Broncos lead 2-1. Yep, that was, the, that was the point for the illegal jersey number on uh, Caitlin Rexroth. So it cost him a point and uh, shouldn't matter in this one as Daphne Gardner delivers an ace. That was ace number 33 on the season for Gardner. She's third on the team. The team's top and really only setter for that matter. A 6 1 system run by Spring Hill, and Gardner is the one, and she delivers back to back aces. It makes it 4 1 Broncos. They would obviously like to take care of this quickly if, for anything else, just to preserve a little energy because they're going to certainly be tested more in the following match if they make it there with either Pittsburgh or Bonner Springs. And Daphne Gardner just Slicing up this Washington serve receive right now. Three quick ones from Gardner on the service line, and it's 5-1 Spring Hill. That one's returned on a first contact. 
A chance for Serpan on the right side. And that will be a point for Washington as Serpan's attack hit the antenna. 5-2. Spring Hill the lead. And Washington will have their second service of this match. Hung Singh, a sophomore, will serve for the Wildcats. Rex wrote to Gardner. Quick set into the middle. And Jalen Stevenson guides it in. We've seen three different swings now from Stevenson on her three kills early in this match. She went with a powerful cross-court attack for her first kill, went with a little off-speed shot in her second kill, and that time, with that quick set right in the middle, almost just kind of tipped it and guided it in, and now from the service line, Stevenson records an ace. 7-2, Spring Hill. See if she can get right on the service line as she has just one ace and ten service errors over her last eight matches. She's second on the team in service aces, but she also leads the team in service errors. An aggressive server that has been a little bit all or nothing, and lately it's been more errors than aces, but she has come up well on her first two here. Has given Spring Hill an 8-2 lead, and here comes the next serve from Stevenson. And that one... Off the side of the arms of Singh. Sails over near the scores table and out. It's 9-2. Broncos with the early advantage as they continue to extend that advantage. Serve by serve over this Washington Wildcats. Serve received struggling early on for them. Overpass played by Hedrick. Gardner back set to Serpan. Down the line and in for Riley's first kill to make it 10-2. And a quick timeout taken by Washington. Katrina Richard will spend her first, first set timeout as it is a quick 10-2 advantage for the Spring Hill Broncos. They are 80-13 this year, set record, 35-2 overall record. They have just been cruising for most of the season. They've had some challenges, especially late in the season. They went to a uh, tourna tournament late, and in fact, in that tournament, met up with St. James Academy, who's by rankings, the polls rankings, if you will, the number one C or number one team in 5A, but based on the record, Spring Hill at 35 and 2, St. James Academy at 34 and 2. So by the Acacia seeding criteria, the winning percentage of Spring Hill slightly better than St. James Academy. So Spring Hill is the number one seed in the state playoffs. St. James Academy, the number two seed. But those two teams, it seems like all year have just been on a trajectory to meet up in Salina later on this season. But a lot still has to happen to get to that point. But they did get to see each other with the regular season. And for what it's worth, St. James Academy did win that match. It's one of the only two losses that Spring Hill has this year. The other came to Blue Valley Southwest in their home tournament about a month or so ago. Stevenson on the serve received. Gardner sets up a Hedrick who has it sailed out on her. So 10-3, Washington picks up the point. Latresa Saunders, a senior for Casey Washington, will serve here. Rex wrote to Gardner, quick to the middle to Frakes, and a sophomore, Kate Frakes, buries the point for Spring Hill, 11-3. Now Frakes will go back to serve. She's got 28 aces on the year to 21 airs. She's their second leading hitter up at the net at 347. Ranks fourth in kills, but as far as the hitting efficiency, that 347 number second on the team. And Serpan misses cross court. 11 4 the score. That's Angel Bailey who's come on for Washington. Serve will come from Kari Mahan in his. Set to the left side to Hedrick. And there's a point for Addy. One of the pair of freshmen on this, senior, on this uh, varsity team, Addy Hedrick and the setter Daphne Gardner. Both freshmen. Very talented team, obviously, to go 35-2. and two, And a very young team as well. Just one senior. That's the libero Rex Road. Overpass. Hedrick takes care of that. Blocks it right back down in there. Now they've had just no answer for the serve of Spring Hill right now. The serve receive has been very shaky early on for Washington. Kate Milroy with this serve. And again, an awkward serve receive from Saunders. 
Kind of comes off at an angle on a line drive up to the net. No real chance to play that one by any of her teammates. Saunders will come out, and they're going to bring in a back row player to uh, try and control that serve receive a little bit here. So that's New Ng on the serve receive this time. They play this one better. Angel Bailey gets it across, but Gardner out to Hedrick, and that one is out over top of the blocker. Sails out on the end line for a Washington point, 14-5. Unfortunately, this Washington lineup has different numbers on than the program listed, so I'm going to struggle a little bit at identification with them. That's Allie Frank, though. No, no worries about identification on that one. Six-foot junior middle, second-team All-Frontier League last year and has backed it up with a very solid junior season. Team's leader in kills, sec or leader in blocks, rather, second in kills, third in hitting percentage. She puts Spring Hill up 15-5. Here's Mariah Hess with the serve. Free ball sent over by Husky. Gonzalez into set now. Sends it out to Jalen Stevenson, who puts away her fourth kill. So Danielle Gonzalez, a junior, 5-6 setter. She has 170 assists this year. That is second on the team to the 775 that Gardner has. So that tells you the... Playing distribution there. Gonzalez getting a chance, though, in this one, a match that should be handled easily by Spring Hill. And they'll get some quality reps for Gonzalez in there as the setter and give Gardner a, a rest to keep her fresh for what will be a big match later on today if things go as they should in this one. There's an ace from Hess. 18-5 Spring Hill. The stomp and stable, a little bit quiet early on here today, but they'll be ratcheted up for the, uh, the championship match later on. Bailey with a free ball over. Milroy to Gonzalez, quick in the middle to Allie Frank, and that will go off the block. No, it missed the block, so it's just out. And a point for Washington, 18-6. Saunders back on for Washington. Destiny Husky to serve. Having to play it low, Hess. They go up to Frank again. And that time, Allie puts it away to make it 19-6 Spring Hill. Second kill from Frank. So has double-digit kills in three different matches this season. Caitlin Rex wrote the serve now. One hit return. Stevenson will go again, and Stevenson will finish again. She's had five swings, and she's got five kills. That's what you call perfect. 20 to 6, Spring Hill. Rex wrote serve up to Saunders, and there's a point for Washington. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's the first point earned, if you will. Their previous six points came on either errors by Spring Hill or the substitution illegal uniform that gave them a point before we ever got started. 20 to 7 now. Spring Hill with the lead Washington to serve. It'll be Lanita Gomez. Gonzalez set it up for Stevenson. Make her six for six. 21 7 Broncos. Serpan back on for Milroy. And Danielle Gonzalez will serve. 11 aces to just four service errors this year. Singh out to Saunders. Free ball across. Rex Road up to Gonzalez. Back set Serpan. Blocked by Saunders, but it ricochets into the Spring Hill bench where it is caught by Mariah Hess. That's a kill for Serpan. Her second to make it 22 7 Broncos. Daphne Gardner back on to serve. Three points away from a dominating opening set victory for the Broncos. Husky sends it across to Spring Hill. Good chances. Gardner goes low to the net. Quick into the middle of Frakes. Unable to put it down, though. Now Rexro long back set across to Stevenson. And Jalen Stevenson 
Seven kills now for the Washburn University commit. 23-7, Spring Hill the lead. Good serve by Gardner. Saunders, second contact, sends it over and finds the back corner. Second kill from Saunders. The only two that Washington has in this match. It is 23-8. Hung Singh will serve for Washington. Six wins this year for the Wildcats. Six and 19, their overall record. They are the 16th seed in the 5A playoff field. That is a service error by Singh. Set so set point now for Spring Hill. It'll be Jalen Stevenson who will try to end it. And she could match her points in this set with the total points of the opposition. She's got seven kills. Actually, she already matched them. She has that ace in there already as well. Frakes on the overpass, trying to take care of that one. Just mistimed it or perhaps just uh, mistimed the swing and came off the side of her hand a little bit. So missed opportunity, but uh, shouldn't be any worse for the wear here at 24 to 9. And that'll do it as Saunders misses on the serve. So the first set goes to Spring Hill in dominating fashion, 25 to 9. The Spring Hill Broncos. We'll head to the second set. One win away here from moving on to the sub-state championship match. Spring Hill up 1-0 here on Spring Hill Sports Live. We head to the second right after this. Your local farmer's insurance agent is Leah Smith. With more than 10 years of industry experience in both Kansas and Missouri, Leah is sure to customize the right plan for you. Her straightforward and personalized approach will help you better understand your coverage options. Stop on by at 159th and Merlin, right up the street in South Olathe, or call 913-221-0755. Leah Smith Agency, Farmer's Insurance, proudly serving Spring Hill and cheering on the Broncos. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Are you looking for a trusted heating or air conditioning contractor in the Spring Hill area? Look no further than Comfort Designs. Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning has 100% NAIC certified technicians who are friendly, knowledgeable, and ready to help. They'll care for your home and complete the job with speed and precision. Locally owned and operated for more than 20 years, Comfort Designs, Spring Hill's heating and air conditioning company. See all they have to offer at comfortdesigns.net or schedule your appointment at 913-592-4450. Prime Accounting Solutions in Spring Hill is here to help you and your business grow. From accounting services to tax planning, Prime Accounting is here to help you meet your goals and achieve your dreams. The accountants at Prime Accounting Solutions stay up to date on the latest news and information, ensuring the best options, services, and returns for you. Give Prime Accounting Solutions a call at 913-592-2050. Visit them at 408 North Webster in Spring Hill or go online to primeaccounting.net. Whitesell Optometry Vision Source has been the leader in optometry services and vision care in Spring Hill for more than 20 years. Whitesell Optometry offers comprehensive eye care as well as the latest, most popular lenses and frames for Spring Hill and the surrounding communities. Experience modern eye care with advanced diagnostic technology and vision correction products. And with the experience of doctors Whitesell and Bloodgood, you're sure to see the results you're looking for. To schedule your appointment, call Whitesell Optometry Vision Source at 913-592-2020. Is Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Off to the second set we go here in Spring Hill tonight. It, it is 1-0. The Spring Hill Broncos with the lead. And now they lead this one 1-0 as well. Daphne Gardner doing what she did uh, plenty of in the last match, in that or last set, and that is Dominate from the service line. Make it quickly 2-0. 25-9 winner in the first set for Spring Hill. Number one seed in the 5A postseason. And Washington has the sixth seed. Beat Schlegel earlier today. Now they trail three zip here in the second set. Trail the match 1-0. After that one, sails long from Saunders on the attack. So Daphne Gardner... 
Picking up right where she left off in the first set of this match. She's got five aces in this one. Between the service time in the first set and now into the second already. So it's been a dominating performance as we expected from Spring Hill at this point. Saunders, a little tip shot that time, but they're going to call her for a lift. It was less of a tip and more of a push. 4-0 Spring Hill. Rex wrote the libero, and it's Mariah Hess in the back row along with Gardner. Jalen Stevenson, Kate Frakes, and Riley Serpan up front. Free ball back to Spring Hill. Gardner sets in the right side to Serpan. The lefty goes cross court, but a whistle as a net violation on Saunders will cost Washington another point. Five zip Broncos. Pittsburgh and Bonner Springs await the finish of this one. They'll take the floor then for the second semifinal of this substate. Free ball over to Rex Rowe. Gardner shoots it out to Stevenson, and that one is played by Washington. They aren't able to return it, but they did get a couple of contacts off the attack by Stevenson, who has just been an absolute force up at the net in this one so far. She had seven kills and an ace in the first set of this one, and now Adds to it here to make it 6-0 Spring Hill. Saunders over towards the bench, able to keep it alive. It's sent across by Ng and now dumped over on second contact by the setter, Gardner, who picks up her 80th kill of the year. And she just dumped that one right between the front and back line of Washington. They were not ready for it. Dropped it in right on that 10-foot line. 7-0 Spring Hill. Gardner's serve ricochets up into the student section. Six aces now from Gardner. That gives her 38 for the year. Third on the team, and it's 8 nothing. Ng over near the bench, or the uh, bleachers rather, and then sends it up behind the up ref, so 9 nothing. Maya Gomez, a freshman, will come in to help try to shore up the serve receive for KC Washington. Gardner goes to Ng, who hits it across, back to Spring Hill, and Gardner sets quick in the middle to Frakes, and she puts one down for her second kill. 10-0. Spring Hill making very quick work of this second set. Saunders at the scores table, gets it back into her teammate, uh, my Sarah Her, who got it across, but it'll be all for not as Serpan delivers again. This is a small in stature Washington team that right now just has zero answer for anything that Spring Hill's throwing at them, whether it's the serve receive that they are struggling with or certainly any time an attack comes Right now, they just they can't get a block up there. As Gardner running into her teammate Frakes, good recovery though. With one arm, got it back. Stevenson wisely just cut bait on it and said, "You know what? No, don't try to do anything too cute here. Just send it back across. Let us gather ourselves again." And it works out to their advantage because just sending it across to Washington right now is worth a point for Spring Hill. Twelve nothing. Overpass and <laughs> Stevenson kind of laughing at herself there. It worked out. She gets the point. We'll credit her with the kill. I'm not so sure she so much as hit that ball as it just hit the tape and came back. But we're going to give her some hometown scoring and say it's a kill. But she uh, certainly didn't hit that one as she intended to. She kind of laughs it off. But she'll take the point, 13-0, and they'll add another one to it on Gardner's now seventh ace. My, oh, my. 14-0 Spring Hill. That one's returned, almost a self-defense return. Stevenson right at Ng again. She felt targeted there. She had everything flying at her. And Stevenson comes up with her ninth kill. One shy of another double-digit kill performance. She has 10 or more kills in 23 of their 37 matches this year. And it's 15 to nothing Broncos. Gomez to Bailey and now it's Frakes from the middle. Right down to the floorboard. She sends it. 
16-0 Spring Hill. So Stevenson may be done, at least for now she is, maybe for the rest of this match. She'll be replaced by Emery Stevenson, a freshman. So Stevenson in with the huge lead for Spring Hill. Dumped over by her. And then Gardner running in to her teammate. Gets spilled to the floor, and that will cost them their first point against in this second set, 16 to 1. Lenita Gomez replaces Angel Bailey, and it'll be Gomez that serves. All Broncos, 16-1 after winning the first 25-9. Gardner sets middle to Frakes. Gomez got underneath of it, but nobody could get the second hit. So 17-1 now. Addie Hedrick replaces Hess. They've got three freshmen on the floor right now along with two sophomores and one senior. The one senior in the gray jersey, the libero retro. And you've got Serpan and Frake sophomores, Hedrick, Gardner, and Stevenson, freshman. And Stevenson with the service air hit into the net. Now Jalen Stevenson will come back in for Emery Stevenson. So 17-2, Spring Hill. But you saw that youth on the floor, and we're talking about the number one seed in the 5A state tournament. That's... Got to be extremely exciting for Erica Book. Not that she's looking past what's left to go on this season because this is a special group that has a chance to do some special things in the next couple of weeks. But she's just got to be salivating thinking about the talent that's going to be on this roster for years to come. So Frakes goes out and... You're going to have to help me out here, uh, Caden. Yeah. Is this Julia Hess? Yes, that's Okay, because she's listed as 21, but she's wearing seven. I just used uh, elimination, haven't seen her play this year. And so I say, well, who's the name on there that I haven't had to call this year? Yeah. So Julia Hess yeah. gets into the action. And a point for Spring Hill promptly thereafter, 19-2. to Erica Book going deep into the bench in this first match of the Substate Tournament. Why not with this big lead? Overpass, Hedrick. Yep, that'll work. Twenty to two now, Spring Hill. Good serve there by Hess. Sing to her, and a free ball over for Spring Hill. Serpan takes care of business on the back set from Gardner. 21-2, Danielle Gonzalez replaces Gardner. Here comes the serve by Hess. And they're going to call a lift. No, they're going to call a double hit that time on Singh. Didn't get that set clean. Had it go off one hand, then the other. 22 to 2. Ace from Julia Hess. Twenty-three two, Spring Hill. Clips the tape, gets across. Gonzalez to the middle to Ali Frank, hammers it down. So one more point will do it for Spring Hill. The serve from Julia Hess. Gomez to Hung Singh across to Spring Hill. Gonzalez back set Serpan cross court, and that's going to end it. So very quick work of Casey Washington for Spring Hill. 25-9, 25-2. Thanks for coming. Let's head on to the Substate Championship. That's what Spring Hill's saying.
as these uh, Lady Broncos will be playing for a sub-state title. And a trip to the state tournament is on the line the next time they take the floor. They haven't been to the state tournament since 1985. We'll see if they can get that job done coming up later on today. We'll take a timeout, come back with your post-game numbers. 25-9, 25-2, a two-set sweep for the now 36-2 Spring Hill Broncos. A great collision on the field? Awesome. An awesome collision on the road? Not so great. If that bad play does come your way, take your car to Shoemaker Collision and Paint Center. As Kansas City's premier auto collision repair center, they work on all makes and models, even RV, marine, aviation, motorcycles, and more. Shoemaker Collision offers free estimates and loaners, plus they will work with all insurance companies. Get your ride back in the game. Learn more at ShoemakerCollision.com or call 913-592-0095. When it comes to helping people with their finances, a cookie cutter approach doesn't work. That's why you need Kim Thompson at Prudential Financial in Spring Hill. Kim knows that everyone's different. She'll listen to you and discuss your hopes and dreams, allowing you to focus on what's important. At Kim Thompson Financial, they focus on protecting your family, saving for retirement, living in retirement, financial strategy, saving for education, and your small business. To learn more, visit Kim Thompson Prudential Financial at the corner of Victory and Webster in Spring Hill or call 913-592 5573. Prime Accounting Solutions in Spring Hill is here to help you and your business grow. From accounting services to tax planning, Prime Accounting is here to help you meet your goals and achieve your dreams. The accountants at Prime Accounting Solutions stay up to date on the latest news and information, ensuring the best options, services, and returns for you. Give Prime Accounting Solutions a call at 913-592-2050. Visit them at 408 North Webster in Spring Hill or go online to primeaccounting.net. Are you looking for a trusted heating or air conditioning contractor in the Spring Hill area? Look no further than Comfort Designs. Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning has 100% NAIC certified technicians who are friendly, knowledgeable, and ready to help. They'll care for your home and complete the job with speed and precision. Locally owned and operated for more than 20 years, Comfort Designs, Spring Hills Heating and Air Conditioning Company. See all they have to offer at comfortdesigns.net or schedule your appointment at 913-592-4450. This is Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Well, a pretty easy first match of the day for the Spring Hill Broncos as they cruise past the KC Washington Wildcats. 25-9, 25-2, now 36-2 on the year for the Spring Hill Broncos. The Frontier League champions, the number one overall seed in the 5A playoffs are one win away from their first state tournament berth since 1985 as they dominate this match to the tune of 25-9, 25-2. The post-game show brought to you by Shoemaker Collision and Paint Center. Take a look here at some of the final numbers for you. Jalen Stevenson was great again. Nine kills, one ace. The kills number led the way for uh, Spring Hill. Riley Serpan had five kills. That was the second highest mark on the team. Kate Frakes with four and Allie Frank with three, along with three from Addie Hedrick. At the service line, it was a dominant performance from Spring Hill as Kate Milroy had an ace. Mariah Hess had an ace. Julia Hess had an ace. Daphne Gardner had seven aces. And Jalen Stevenson had an ace. You add all those up, that's 11 service aces in that match for Spring Hill to just one service error. And meanwhile, for KC Washington, they had only two kills in the match. They both came from Latresa Saunders, and they had no aces, but did have two service errors. Every way you look at it, it was a dominating performance from the Spring Hill girls. They win it 25-9, 25-2, and it will advance on to the Substate championship match. We'll take a quick preview of what that might be as we look at our next semifinal coming up next here on the Shoemaker Collision Post Game Show. Broncos moving on to the state, uh, sub-state title match. More to come on the Shoemaker Collision Post Game Show right after this on Spring Hill Sports Live.
Your local farmer's insurance agent is Leah Smith. With more than 10 years of industry experience in both Kansas and Missouri, Leah is sure to customize the right plan for you. Her straightforward and personalized approach will help you better understand your coverage options. Stop on by at 159th and Merlin, right up the street in South Olathe, or call 913-221-0755. Leah Smith Agency, Farmer's Insurance, proudly serving Spring Hill and cheering on the Broncos. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Whitesell Optometry Vision Source has been the leader in optometry services and vision care in Spring Hill for more than 20 years. Whitesell Optometry offers comprehensive eye care as well as the latest, most popular lenses and frames for Spring Hill and the surrounding communities. Experience modern eye care with advanced diagnostic technology and vision correction products. And with the experience of doctors Whitesell and Bloodgood, you're sure to see the results you're looking for. To schedule your appointment, call Whitesell Optometry Vision Source at 913-592-2020. Is Bronco Volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Shoemaker Collision and Paint Center post game show, Kansas City's premier auto collision repair center, where they work with all insurance companies to get you back on the road in no time. Learn more by visiting them online at shoemakercollision.com or call 913 592 00. 9-5. Two set sweep for the Spring Hill Broncos. Now 36 and 2. The number one seed in the postseason in Class 5A will be taking on either Pittsburgh or Bonner Springs in the Substate Championship match. Those two teams set to take the floor here at Spring Hill High School next. The 8 seed Pittsburgh Dragons are 25 and 11. And the 9 seed Bonner Springs Braves are 22 and 14. Spring Hill has not seen Pittsburgh this season. Last time they played Pittsburgh was back in 2014. They won that one in a two-step sweep. Obviously, that has no bearing on what would happen if they played today, but just uh, the little fact for you there. But anyway, they're not uh, familiar with the Pittsburgh Dragons. They are, however, very familiar with the Bonner Springs Braves, a fellow Frontier League team they've played this year already, and uh, it was Spring Hill who won both matches when they've met up this season. They swept them in two sets back on September 19th, and they swept them in three sets on October 10th. So there is plenty of history between the two programs, Bonner Springs and Spring Hill, if that's the matchup that we happen to get. Or it might be Spring Hill and Pittsburgh, which would be somewhat fitting. Why? Because that's our football postseason matchup we're going to have next Friday night as well. Spring Hill will go on the road to take on the Pittsburgh Dragons in the first round of the 4A high school state football playoffs. And here in the 5A Substate Volleyball Tournament, we might have a Spring Hill Pittsburgh matchup for a state tournament berth. So we'll wait and see what happens with the Pittsburgh Bonner Springs match. It's the 8-9 match, and the winner gets Spring Hill for the Substate Championship. That one's coming up later on today here on Spring Hill Sports Live. The schedule will tell you it's at a 4 o'clock match. That ain't happening because we're still uh, about 20 minutes away from the next semifinal getting underway, and I guarantee you they're not going to play it in 10 minutes. So uh, it's going to be certainly later than four, probably pushing closer to five before that uh, championship match. But check back and uh, go ahead and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. If you do that, you'll know when that next match is coming up because you'll get a nice little alert that will tell you when the next broadcast starts. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your YouTube page here or at springhillsportslive.com, and you'll never miss the action when we take the air for Spring Hill High School Athletics. So, a two-set sweep to start things out for Spring Hill in the Substate. They're now 36 and two, and they'll await the winner of Pittsburgh and Bonner Springs later on today. For Caden Carbajo, I'm Bryce Kessler. As we say good night for now, but be sure to join us for that Substate Championship match coming up later on here on Spring Hill Sports Live. It's time for Bronco volleyball on Spring Hill Sports Live. Spring Hill Sports Live is brought to you by Comfort Designs Heating and Air Conditioning, Price Chopper, Kim Thompson at Prudential Financial, the Spring Hill Recreation Commission, Shoemaker Collision and Paint Center, Cedar Lake Village, Crown Realty, the Elliott Insurance Group. 
Crime Accounting Solutions. Farmers Insurance, Leah Smith Agency. Tri-Century Bank. Allstate, Libby Clark Agency. The Spring Hill Chamber of Commerce. Spring Hill Fitness. Perfect Detail Salon. And Whitesell Optometry. Bye.